Hi folks, welcome back. And as always, thank you so much for joining. So today we're going to make a degassing chamber that we can use when we're making our silicone molds. Now for anyone who does this, uh, when we make our molds, occasionally there's a air pocket in there. Uh, and that requires either making the mold again or at best uh, some rework. So because I'm going to do more with this mold today, is a good point for us to discuss how to make a homemade degassing chamber. Now the problem is introduced when we take silicone and we either thin it or we use the cornstarch as a curing agent and we put it all uh, together and we're mixing it up and that introduces air into the silicone. And what we would like is a method to inexpensively or at best uh, free solution to getting the air out of our silicone. So what we're going to need is a can that is uh, sturdy enough to uh, withstand some vacuum. Now this is a metal can, it's a metal coffee can, uh, uh, institutional size uh, vegetable can, a paint can. Any, it doesn't need to be metal, just anything sturdy enough to withstand uh, some vacuum. Preferably a clear plate because I'm going to put this on top here and uh, watch the uh, air being exhausted. When it's done, then I can uh, turn it off. Once it's out, it's out. Now, if you have a little bit of the milk paint left from uh, the last couple of weeks' videos, well, let's pull that out and let's use this as the release agent for the plate for when we make the seal. And that's what we're going to do next, is we're going to begin by uh, making the seals for this. Now the heart of the whole thing, of course, is a vacuum cleaner. One that has a hose attachment. Uh, this is the heart of the system right here. This is what's going to make everything work. All right, so let's get started. All right, so this is what I'm going to need to poke a hole into the side of this can here. Uh, this is where the vacuum cleaner is going to go, and this is the metal. So I'm going to uh, mark it, and then I'm going to uh, drill a hole. And from there, uh, we can seal that at the same time as we seal the top. I set this up because this is a plastic paint can here. Uh, a can like this would be durable enough to take some vacuum. See, this is the black plastic. Now, this uh, opening a hole in something like this is probably even more simple for you. This is a soldering iron. Uh, you can even heat up a knife and just wall yourself out a little hole. All right, so I have finished prepping the uh, chamber for the uh, silicone seals that we're going to put on. We're going to put one here, and I've poked a hole in the side here. This is the tube that I'm going to use to extend to the hose to the vacuum cleaner. This right here is a KC and packaging film that we make here that I've wrapped. This is going to help me apply the silicone around the hole so that I can insert this. I want to be able to recover that so I can peel that away and actually just wash it away. So what we're going to do now is squeeze out some silicone into a Ziploc bag and of course I'm going to add some cornstarch to it to speed the curing process and I'll be back and we're going to squeeze this out here and here. All right. All right, so just like you've seen me do before, I'm going to cut the tube off of the silicone. I'm going to poke a hole down inside to uh, pierce the foil shell. I'm going to squeeze out roughly 100 grams into the center of a Ziploc bag. And to that, I am going to add uh, 10 grams of cornstarch. So that is 10 grams of cornstarch for every 100 grams of silicone. We're going to squeeze the air out of this. I'm going to mix it up, and then we're going to squeeze it out onto our item right here. Okay, so I've mixed it up in a bag, and um, I use a rolling pin to uh, push everything into a corner. Yes, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, so a lot of my solutions are cooking related. We're going to snip the corner right here. 
and we're going to squeeze this out now, similar to what a pastry chef would do when he's icing a cake. Just go right along the edge, just like this. Now we're going to use the plate and we have applied uh, milk paint as a release agent. And we're just going to set this right down on top. Give it a little wiggle. And the ratios that I gave you for this mixing of the uh, silicone to cornstarch will give us a set time of about one hour. Okay, you can stay, but you have to be very, very quiet because we're hunting rabbits. Okay, I'll All right, so it's been an hour. The silicone is fully set now. I've pulled the plate off and I've trimmed it up a bit. There was some overhang. And yes, you can recycle your silicone. So I save every little scrap. I pulled this out so that I can reuse that. And the uh, packaging comes right out. That's why I use silicone for casein and plastics. Okay, now we're complete. All we have to do is hook it up and degas some silicone. All right, so there we have it, a degassing chamber on the cheap. And uh, yes, we can supersize this idea as well, so if you want. What I came up with was a very smooth, clean layer right on top, no bubbles. And for those of you that mix your own uh, and in the silicone bag, you can see it with the clear even better. It's riddled with bubbles in the bag but this there's absolutely nothing so success for those of us that uh, want to uh, make our own molds and don't like the air bubbles you know what I still have a little bit of milk paint left wonder what else I can figure out what to do with it if you like what we're doing here where there's a little green ball, it's going to pop up. You can click that and go to my main channel. You can see other videos on similar subjects, uh, arts and crafts, all made with sustainable materials. And uh, while you're there, well, click subscribe. And thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye.